Welcome back to Ways. Now, hiring helps in this part of the world comes with its own bag of troubles. From ensuring they have the right skills to verifying their guarantor and ensuring all health checks are properly done. Amara Agwim is the CEO of the Nani Academy, a social enterprise whose aim is to reach and empower domestic workers, advocate proper working conditions for them, and thus reduce unemployment and poverty, as well as promote happiness and well-being in that space. So remember, you can join the conversation, tweet to us at Plus TV Africa or at Wayshow Africa one with the hashtag Ways, or you send an SMS to 0818 and also that's our WhatsApp number. Thanks for joining us, Amara. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank Thanks you. For thank you for coming. Thank you. Who wants to go first? Because all these nanny people, <laughs> I'm not a nanny person. But, I am um, a nanny person. But I see I'm a lot of, person. Yeah, I see a lot of, um, um, how easy, first of all, in Nigeria, is it to... Um, source for them? To source for an, a proper nanny. What is a proper nanny? Yeah, maybe we should start mm -hmm. from what's a proper nanny. <laughs> because a lot of people think house helps and nannies. Yeah, you know, you've been what's, told, the what's the difference? You know, um, I was almost going to protest before um, we started when I was hearing helps, helps, helps. <laughs> Look, the name you call it in is um, what it is. Absolutely affects how it um, comes for you. So yes, definitely, your husband is a help. A nanny is a help, right? So, but I'd rather we use the professional terms. So we are saying nannies, mm. and then maybe we are talking about housekeepers. You okay. ask me what is the difference mm. between a nanny as a house help. I don't know what is a house help, okay. but I know what a housekeeper, a housekeeper, housekeeper. is. Wow. Yeah. So, um, so the difference literally is um, when you hire a nanny, you're talking about child care primarily. Mm. So okay. you want someone who can care for children, who has the ability, who has a passion, mm. and of course the um, interest of children at heart. And then a housekeeper for house chairs, can include cooking. I'm not also saying that nannies don't cook, but well, um, but there are families who do not need child care. So um, a family who don't need child care might not ask for a nanny. You can just say you're looking for a housekeeper. housekeeper. You know, just be specific mm. about the terms you use. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. okay. how do you source for them? Hmm. So I guess the history of sourcing um, has to date as far back as that women get married, mm -hmm. they run households, and then they need people to support, help support help. them, yeah. you know, to succeed. Mm -hmm. And so to search for help, um, the first thing you do is you tell someone, I need somebody. Yeah, you get <laughs> uh, yeah. so that's the first, you know, step to saying you're looking for help. But of course, we would then say there are um, professional sources or established sources like nanny agencies, mm -hmm. as well as, of course, like your grandmother, mm. your auntie, your friend. So what and, I mean, that yeah. from your own academy, how do you source for this? Oh, program? how do we source yeah, for that? OK, fine. Um, for our academy, if I'm talking about nanny academy, we're 10 okay. years old. Mm -hmm. And so because we are 10, we have um, a Wealth vast of experience. Exactly, <laughs> word of experience, various sources. We have um, a lot of people that have worked with us over the years who keep referring people. Right? So the referral system is still very much alive in the Nani Academy, I would say. Yeah. So that's our so primary source of referrals. getting people referrals, yes. So how, um, how do you help people in terms of, so Nani Academy, what comes to my mind is sort of like an institution where you're training nannies as opposed to providing um, nanny services. services or, um, I don't want to say nanny delivery, but like giving people nannies, right? So is it, is, what, what does nanny academy do exactly what are your services or service offerings okay so what we do is uh, primarily like the name says we do training, training for nannies exactly. yes so we have different cadres of training short and long and um, then you see the job is so um, all-encompassing right so that you can't do one, you without, can't do one without. without doing the other and so we need to also help to complete the cycle of what we have done by right. giving jobs Given, you know, yeah, so we also do placement for families. Awesome. Okay. Yes. I love what you've said about the holistic approach to yes. it. So now we know right now the spate of insecurity is quite on a high. Mm -hmm. um, so um, when we were reading from the introduction, we said something about guarantors and all of that. Now, you as Nani Academy, how do you help families recognize that this person is a threat? Because we've heard cases of nannies 
taking babies out of homes and later they find out that they are sending um, letters of demands for a millionaire, it's now become a kidnap situation. What would you advise people, you know, how to spot those kind of things? Do they go through agencies strictly or they go through that referral system that they are not sure of? So how do we guarantee the people that you're bringing into, into your, your home? home? Oh, yes. Okay, so that's really a very critical aspect of the, um, the job, making sure that you're dealing with people who are what they say they are. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, anybody can, like I said, even if you were referred, I would still need so do, XYZ, do you, do you know, from you. Yeah, so uh, typically we wouldn't hire anybody who cannot give us an address that we can trace physically in Lagos State, which is our current geopolitical, you know, right. location. Okay. Yeah, so because that, you know, makes it easy for you to have the first place you can go and trace. I can't promise anybody that I'll go and do background check in Cameroon State unless I So am. if any girl is coming from Taraba, you won't take them? No, unless you have a Lagos address. Okay. Wow. Right? So, so you need to have a Lagos address. Lagos. So Not necessarily strictly within, but insist that you should have an address in Lagos mm -hmm. that we can verify you. I mean, I, I used to tell people, are you travel abroad if you go to the US now? You may not be living there, but they will ask you, what to know the address? You're going to, we, yeah. we, Where are you going to? Where, so where are you staying? Yeah, yeah, we are so we need you, we can go to that address Absolutely. and get you. Yes, yeah. so that's first. But that's not enough, right? So we'll get the address. That's why it's, okay, address verification. And that's why when you go to check as, as someone's address, what do you do? You, you start asking around, okay, to be sure that the person stays there. But honestly, Lagos is quite a city, mm -hmm. and a lot of funny things can happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. so people can set that. things up, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. right? Yeah, so that's why the other aspects too, like, I mean, having the guarantors to also be who they are supposed to be. But even those guarantors, mm -hmm. I yes. it's not even 100%. People can also find people that they would already be covered with, and yes. And that's why um, you are right, you see, but we don't stop. You know, for, that, for right. the yes, we don't stop at that. So it's a couple of okay. You do this. Um, you have to provide an address that can be verified. Right. You have to provide guarantors that have you. Yeah. And then we go as deep as you need to give us your BVN. I was going yeah. to mention that. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. So you I was going to mention your that. BVN. And then we have so, but then that's relying on the ba bank's check uh, and due diligence data. process, saying that, you yeah. know, the banks, if the banks have you, your, your data, then it mm -hmm. must mean that at least okay. I, I like the fact of the BVN, because BVN has become somewhat like a social security number for us. It, it, like it, it has. It has. Absolutely. Yeah. You, know, you know, yes. So, what, so, but it doesn't still stop at that, yeah, yeah, right? So, we get the BVN, we get the address of where they work. You also verify. You what know, if like they haven't worked before? If they haven't, they, they have. Then, yeah, yeah, that's why these things have to be in place. In and then, place. of course, these okay, days, so you yeah. also don't Building your data get to hire a well. who don't have an account number, for instance. Of course. You know, because that means that BVM thing Exists. will not if be they don't there, have BVM, for instance. It's a red it's just flag. something. But, of course, there are also the other aspect of psychological, yeah. you know, uh, testing. I can tell be you educated. Before. No, they must not be educated. Okay. I can tell you, before I got here, I've got gotten like three calls, and somebody called me to say, oh, I have a wonderful nanny. She has been with me for years, three years, but um, she's not educated. She's wonderful, but now I, I think I need someone who is educated. My children are growing. Mm -hmm. So your caregiver doesn't have to be as educated as, okay. you know, because what they're providing primarily is care. But of yeah. course, we know that education starts from birth, and that your caregiver influences, you know, um, well, your child. Um, of course, because they're part of the environment language, where your child you know, has been raised. Absolutely, yeah. yes. So, but um, I have a caregiver, and I can tell you she's not a graduate, but mm -hmm. she's doing a fantastic That's work, and she has stayed with me. This very is the 16th year. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, so, okay, so now I'm very happy you said that. What is this, the position of who checks hmm. for the welfare of the nanny? Because all the time, like they are hiring nannies. This side. They are very conscious about what the nanny will do for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't con we don't we don't pay attention to whether the nanny is being taken being care of. Absolutely. That you are putting the person in a, in a good working environment, mm -hmm. you know, and all of that. Because mm -hmm. I know those things actually contribute. You to know, the success of the entire experience. Success of yes. the entire experience. Because it's a, it's a when you when thing. you hear yeah when you it's hear that some nannies are becoming hostile, mm -hmm. probably what to the, the to the cause? you know. So what's the root cause and all of that? So how do you check, you know, that a nanny is is being put in a, in a position where she too 
it's been jobs. taken care of. Yeah, yeah, so that's by interviewing the um, the, the, the employers, potential employer. the potential employers. You subject them to um, the same process that you subject the nannies to. So you, you can't say, oh, you can't disclose your number, you can't disclose your address. You have to disclose as much as possible. And also disclose, okay, look at the uh, like the form we give our clients to fill. Some people are like, oh, this is your form, you're asking too much questions. Yes, because um, we want to know, and we want you to start thinking about those things as things that should be in place. You know, for help. What kind of accommodation do you have for the person? Because at the end of the day, you're talking about the dignity of this person. Another you know, human if being. If the dignity cannot be guaranteed, then there is no need Absolutely. for them to come and work, and there is no way they are going to give you their um, their best, so to speak. So yeah, so we check by questioning. Um, you don't the do clients. background checks. On well, the we have a different um, background process. check method for the clients. Okay. I mean, I think it's imp important to check the clients, but you see, it's pretty easier to uh, deal with clients than, I'm um, sorry, to check clients, of than course. to check uh, nannies. Yeah. Whose names the are not be on Google, for instance, the formal, yeah. Yeah. right? So I can economy. tell you for free that most people, when you say where you're working and you say your name, I'll Google, Google, Google you. I'll yes. Google you. Yes, that's <laughs> true. I will Google that's you. True. Yes, awesome. and once I do that, if I don't see much your name, then I might you know, uh, we might so, okay, seek so further information about the, um, the how employer. How can we evolve this industry, for instance, now in terms of remuneration, you know, was a decent pay that you're supposed to give a nanny? A minimum wage. <laughs> no. What's a decent pay for a nanny? That's number one. And how can we get, because there are some people that are already aged, right? Maybe like they're in their 60s, they don't want to. Because we have people, women no, but that I go say, When I say minimum wage, are you saying is that too? That's too small. No, I'm saying, but start from there. That, it's too small, as far as I am concerned. But no, correct me, no, it's too no. small. <clears throat> I don't, what do you mean? want paying a bit. Yes. It's too small. You don't I believe it. that, you know, a decent salary, mm. you know. I'm feeding this person. Should be. Thank I'm you. probably doing. Well, so it's not, it's not like you're spending your money. Okay, so tell us. Maybe you tell us. I'm not saying it can't be more, but I'm saying, but start with that as a minimum. It's not your responsibility primarily to clothe. You know, like yes. clothes. I'm not saying feed. You feed. You feed. You mm -hmm. gotta feed. Yeah. You have to ensure that the person working for you is welfare. There is food and there is a means of feeding. My employer doesn't that give me food. They just pay me my salary. For this kind of service, for this kind of service, uh, I mean, we we look at the best practices globally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what you know. Places like Canada. I'm not saying we're not paying anything near what they're paying in Canada. No, childcare is expensive. You know, childcare is expensive. Apparently. But yeah. I'm saying that when you need to have a caregiver, mm -hmm. there are conditions because the jobs are classified. They mm -hmm. are not as big as your you know, job. And then mm -hmm. who are the people paying them? There are also people like you, like families, mm -hmm. right? They are not like government paying them. That's limited and all funds. Of that. That's limited funds, yes. Yeah. So those things are considered. And that's why things as little as food is part of the welfare package. Why are, they, welfare package. why are you attacking me? Because I see a lot of women, mature women, they leave this country. They travel abroad. Mm -hmm. And for the meantime, maybe they are there for three months. They go and do nanny jobs. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Why, no. Hold on. Why can't we have something? Because I believe because that place is a bit standardized. So, so, the so there's a decent pay. The no, question you no, ask is out. minimum wage. Yeah. And I will still say that, well, Nigeria is where it is. Mm. Our minimum wage is, how much is it? 18,000. Absolutely. Oh, is it, has it gone yes. up to 30,000? Has it gone up to 30? I'm using 30. It hasn't been implemented to the best of my Because it's 18,000. I know that it's going. 30. When I'm going. So when I'm saying minimum wage, I'm saying 30. OK. Yeah, yes. not 18. No, oh. no, no, not 18. I oh, OK. Yes. yes. So no, minimum no. wage, <laughs> but I'm sorry, some families cannot afford to be 30. So but then you see, but you see, the thing with that is, um, then be ready to also face first the attrition rate so they will leave because there'll be somebody else that's willing to pay that yeah. much more. Because for me, it's also these are human beings. They need to leave. They have families. They have responsibilities. And as much as I'm doing a lot for you, I also feel like you need to be comfortable. So that's Truth why is, if I could afford why more, I, I said pay in more. the beginning, when you say, How do you source for help? Well, let's just say, How do you source for help? I mean, there are so many ways. You must not um, use a nanny if you cannot afford yeah. it. Right. You know, you need it's a help. luxury. No, it's luxury. It so is that's a luxury, why actually. when you go abroad, necessary I mean, people, luxury. some people who I cannot afford it, they they care. Yeah. Because daycare is like you share the cost. Yeah. You know, and then it's cheaper cool. and you manage your time. It's not even you cheaper. The daycare, it? Well, I don't know. It's but, not cheaper. Um, How much is well, it? I think it is cheaper day. if you don't have to still pay someone at home. Because what many people do in Nigeria is they combine. Yeah. You have help at home and you still go and put your child in daycare. And so you're paying double. For yeah. child care. No, no, no. If, I, if my child is in daycare, I, I, I don't need a nanny. That's but I, you. But I need a housekeeper. That's, that's yeah, it. Fine. That's the same fine. thing. Yeah. No, it's very different. Well, okay, so you're saying the housekeeper won't do anything with the child? Not particularly. Okay. <laughs> yes, you see. Because um, right now, the double has also, they wear all they have. How do you find the job that someone does for you? 
how you define how much you demand of the person's time and energy, mm -hmm. you know, goes a long way to determine how much you get you out pay of them. them. Right? True. Whereas for the pay, mm. everybody's pay has to be decent. Absolutely. And decent. minimum wage applies to everybody, whether you're a housekeeper exactly. or you're a So mm. let's even state that 18,000 is applicable, I mean, as it is. How many people pay up to 18,000 to the health? So it's 15, most of the same. So many people do not even question. pay anything, we, we and they have people, have and then so many children are out of school <laughs> because families are stopping them from going to school Absolutely. so that they can care for their children for one year, it's two years before yeah. they go back to school. So, yeah. so it's really... Um, <laughs> <laughs> No, go on. Finish. No, I mean, yeah, so, I mean, it's, um, it's heartbreaking, and I know that I am part of the system. Like, I mean, I am a Nigerian. I have family yes. members. I have sisters. Mm -hmm. I have cousins. I have friends. You know, and I see people do different things, and it's really, really, really heartbreaking so hard. to know that um, yeah. Thank you we so haven't got much. to no, no more time for questions. <laughs> We're going to do that after the, after the show. <laughs> All right, so we'll go on a break right now. Um, Funke Otuga joins us after this break.